worship the Lord your God and they will take away diseases God builds a hedge around your life with God Jesus is able to purify you Today, our, our teaching comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 22. Why first on ne? Ephesians, chapter 4, from verse 22. And it, and it says... Okay, let's... Let us start from verse 21. It says, Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Praise the Lord. And ukiendelea from verse 25, Gwandachini, it will tell you what to do and what not to do. Praise God. But the word for today was throw off your selfish, your old nature. Praise the Lord. Some versions are in a sema, put off, put off your old sinful nature and put on the new nature. Praise the Lord. Put off the old nature and put on a new nature. Bonus if you will. Today, uh, the teacher today he told us she told us about the old and the new covenant and what each of them signified. Now, she gave an illustration of a vehicle. Ukikuwa na unenda safari na gari ambayo ni mzee ama imearibika haikupeleki vile inafaa kukupe, vile unataka so you read some you can read somewhere she said narok and you do what you bring a new one on board praise the lord so i believe by the time we have come to accept christ or we, we have decided to follow christ there are things in our lives that were not moving the way we thought or imagined or dreamed or desire them to move. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna vitu ambavyo vilikuwa kwa maisha yetu ambavyo havikuwa vinaenda jinsi ambavyo ungetarajia ikuwe. Na tukaamua kwamba tukafanya maamuzi kwamba tunataka kumfuata Kristo. Praise God. So when we have decided to follow Christ, definitely you will not live the same way you lived before. Wewe mwenyewe kwanza Kwa kwamba, kwa kwamba umeamu unamfata kristo, ndani yako umedia, you have told yourself, I know if I follow Christ, my life will be different. My story will be different. It will not be as it was before. Praise the Lord. And as you have come in, you are still seeing, kama maisha yanabadilika ukiwa kwa yesu, ama yanaendelea kuharibika, ama yanaendelea kuwa vizuri, ama ya meisha. Tuko pamoja. But this is what the Bible tells us. For us actually to get to see the things that we want to see, our lives must be changed. We must put off our old self. You put off. You, you set aside. You remove your sinful nature. The old nature. And some wise people wanna say, if you do something the same way you have been doing it, you will not receive, you will not see any change. The outcomes will always be the same. And it is the same even in our spiritual journey. And that's why Paul was even saying that, let the Holy Spirit, say, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and change your attitude. So as we are putting off our old to receive our blessings. Number one, 
our mind must change. I think we have said about changing of mind. Uh, this year, tumeisema mara ngapi? We have said it. I think every Saturday we have been saying that. You have to change your It is not your duty to change your mind. Praise God. I want you to understand it is not your duty to change your mind. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 it says that let your life be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And Ephesians chapter 4, you verse 23 hapo inatuambia kwamba let the spirit renew your mind and your thoughts and your attitude. So it means it is not your duty to change your mind. It is the duty of the Holy Spirit to change your mind. Bwana asifiwe. And as in Romans chapter 8 inatuambia kwamba the spirit knows the will of God. The spirit of God knows the will of God. So this Holy Spirit he is able to make your mind start thinking the way God is thinking. Hallelujah. Start seeing things the way God is seeing things. Start acting the way God would have acted was he here physically. Bwana asifiwe. So our mind must change for you to put off. Your mind must change for you to understand. Kama umeokoka leo na ulikuwa mlevi, akili yako lazima ibadilishwe ili uelewe ukiendelea kuishi in the same same lifestyle and you want to be completely sober, it will not succeed. Praise God. And we tell people, especially those who are going for rehabilitation, nao wana eh, wanatumia madawa ya kulevya na pombe. The first rule is unless that person, huyo mwenye anataka kuwa admitted, mwenye anataka kupelekwa hospitali, amekubali kwamba ako na shida. Ame kabla haki, kama hajakubali ako na shida, hata msimpeleke. Because they are bound to rebound. Yaani wata watarudi pale tu. You will take them, they will finish the entire process three months and they will come back one week, two weeks and they will go back. Kwa sababu gani? Hajafanya maamuzi. Nyinyi ndio mmeamua. You know sometimes we decide oh my child amekuwa mlevi sana, my husband, my brother, my sister, we must take them to rehabilitation. So you force them to go. They have not made up their minds that they have a problem. And kuna umezekano even that drinking actually was not the problem the problem is something else but if they come to understand some of them do not even require to go there wao wenyewe kwa sababu wamefanya maamuzi anajua ameamua kwamba hii pombe inaniletea shida hapa na pale na pale inanifanya ninakuwa hivi inafanya siwezi fanya namna hii and they make up their mind that i want to come out of this thing it is the first step to being helped praise the lord so if you receive christ and your mind has not been changed to understand or to know that where you are you need to come out of that place atuwezi kakutoa bwana asifiwe and that's why i always say instead of sometimes telling our children twende kanisani let them understand why are they going to church and they make their they make up their minds kwamba wanataka kuja kanisa kanisani wengine wetu tulikuwa tunaenda kanisani kwa sababu ya wazazi and going to church was never impactful in our life hata kidogo but when you make up your own mind it becomes very is the change that you desire is made praise the lord Hallelujah. number two, you must be willing to let go of your past way and it i could to today you are in this place you have received salvation and you are a thief You know the, the, your friends who you are stealing with are not, are, are not they do not even understand why you have decided to abandon them and you are the best pickpocketer. Yeah, you are the best in the team. So you are living is actually wanaona ni kama ni uenda wazi uenda wazimu. And if there were rival groups they will start saying the other group has bewitched you so that you can quit the the entire process. And because the people the environments you are in remains to be the same environment unajua ukiokoka sasa hii uingi mbinguni unajua hivyo ukiokoka sasa hii you are not taken to that garden of eden that used to be that sasa unatoka hapa kisi 
nyanchwa unapelekwa Eden you are still in kisi nyanchwa the people you live with are the same the environment you live with is the same so you must make a decision kwamba hiyo njia umefanya nini umewacha and it is not a one day thing so you have to make a decision of changing from that way and that is the most difficult thing because maisha yetu kila siku yanahusiana na watu so unaanza kupiga hesabu oh nikisema nimeokoka sasa saturday hatukutani kwenda ku watch ball wataona eh, wataniona aje eh? wataniona aje nikiacha ku, kutokelezea in those meetings or whatever wataniona namna gani namna gani ama ujiambie you'll be there but you'll be praying for them si ndio utakuwa unaenda kwa ba wewe utakunywa utawaombea tu ili wapate kuokoka si ndio when you go back there you will still go you will still go back to the same situation what am i saying let go of that way let go of the way the way you can tell your mind kwamba your mind can be changed but you know you always have a choice the holy spirit will change your mind the holy spirit will renew your mind but every single day the choices are always there so you personally have to make a choice in support of the holy spirit bwana asifiwe so if wacha tuache wacha niache kutumia examples za kulewa examples ya nini if you have if you have a problem and god has helped you and you have seen where the problem is wengine tuna tunateseka kwa umaskini the curse of poverty has been removed if it is this 2021 you have even received a fatherly blessing of wealth sindio this year i think since january we have received two we have had two specific services for for wealth kulikuwa na ile ilikuwa jumatano sindio and we received the spirit of wealth and success and prosperity and we had that saturday where you received a fatherly blessing of prosperity many of the people who are here on that saturday let me use the saturday because on wednesday it was it was just a prayer for all there were people who the lord had given biashara kuna watu mungu alikuwa amewapatia ideas there are people who were seeking for jobs and they got jobs and they were getting promoted if you are not going to to make a decision of working if it is a business of starting you will still be where you were bwana asifiwe so some of you are waiting one month is almost getting over mnajaribu kuangalia kama blessing ilikuja ile blessing ya pastor ilikuwa ukweli ama iko ukweli whatever that was spoken to you on that day have you moved if there was a business idea pastor akakwambia hiyo biashara anza apo enda hiyo shamba nunua have you done anything have you done anything ask yourselves eh? so have you done anything the lord is saying i will bless the works of your hand so it, it, it is telling you that scripture is telling you that you need to work so you have not started working will you receive any blessing praise god and that has nothing to do with your changed mind has nothing to do with your deliverance it has everything to do with your decision to move wewe ndio unaamua wewe ndio unachagua kama this prophetic word that i have received will will manifest kama mungu amekwambia utafanya biashara mataifa umekaa hapa kwa nyumba haujaanza hata kwa taifa lenu utaenda mataifa gani god will not wake up and tell you kuja eh, i have opened a multi billion company yeah ninataka ukue ceo this is yours mumesikia mungu anafanya hivyo mungu atafanya hivyo so you have to make a decision the lord has told me that i will have a multi billion business kwa mataifa sina biashara hakuna kitu ninafanya god you have said it is a business which business is this and he tells you and you start moving and as you move you do not start from tanzania you start from your where he has put you 
you start and you move. Praise the Lord. So, putting away the, 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 the ways we used to do, yani kuwacha njia zile ambazo tukua unafanya, inataka maamuzi. Haitaki roo mtakatifu. Inataka maamuzi. You have to decide every day. We are here. There is one big thing that we always have. And I am praying. Nimekua nikiomba. Ata mimi, nimekua nikiomba. Aki mungu nisaidie. So you also have to make a, a deliberate decision. Not just in, in, in living the way. But even in our words. Because kwa saizi najua munajua kwa mba. Kama mkristo, maneno yako yako na nguvu. Yako na mamlaka. Yako na uwezo. Yako na uwezo. So if you say there is war and your word is supposed to silence every altar of the devil and you with the superior altar has said war, who will stop the war? Nobody. Because it is us who, who have declared munaamini kwamba nguvu ambazo mungu ametupa ziko zaidi ya nguvu zote. That if you speak every other altar remains quiet. So if the other altars have been saying war and yours which is superior has said war Hizo zingine hata zinaongea. Haziongei. Kwa sababu anasema mdosi amesema. Amesema so wacha tupigane vizuri. Tunaelewana. So make also a deliberate decision kila siku kubadilisha maneno unasema. Ndio unaumwa. Make a decision and say the Lord has said that I'm healed and I am standing on the healing. Tell yourself ujiongeleshe, jiongeleshe. I am healed until it becomes part of you. Praise the Lord. Hata watoto niliwaambia vile unasema ngare Kenya mtu ako nyakuvae Kenya mtu Venye unaendelea tu kusema ati mtoto ananisumbua ukweli wanaendelea kusumbua I have been there I have seen and I know For those few years I've been there I have seen Every time unashinda kusema anga aye mtoto analia akiwa mdogo wakati yani roho mtindi mwana huyo ago nchoko mae dhabu mtindi because you are the superior power and the superior power is declaring about the why would that child not become because your word has fashioned that person bona sifiwe so you also make make an inter- your words your words your words are key if you say they will not fight they will not fight if we decide even today and we stick on it kwamba watu wakienda hawataweza kuongea anything they will not be able to talk wataanza na hakuta kwa na kitu ya kusema hata tukiongea leo somebody was telling me ati sasa tumesema hii story imeisha lakini inaendelea kupitishwa it doesn't matter we still stand on what the lord has said hata wakipitisha 46 out of 47 counties or 47 out of 47 we are still standing on what the lord has said praise the lord and that is what we declare Hallelujah. Number three. Ensure that you do not return to where you have come from. The word putting on nearly equate kama nguo. I, I equated it with nguo. Every time you need to come out, you have to dress. Every time. Hata ukiwa, 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 ukitoka kwa bafu, umeandress, unatoa uchafu. Ukitoka kwa bafu unafanya nini? Si una dress. Hata kama umejifunika but you dress. And every dressing every dressing communicates. Every dressing communicates. So hata mtu akikuja akikuja aki kwako akikupata umefunga towel, you will always see they go back unless they are disrespectful. Kwa sababu wanajua kwamba haujamaliza kufanya nini? Kuva. Kama unakaa kwa bed sitter, ile bed sitter They will wait outside first for you to finish alafu ndio uambie sasa karibu mgeni. So I equated the putting on with the way we dress. So every day you dress, every day you so you have to ensure that every day you put this on. And by putting on your new nature, you will not be able to go back to the old nature. Praise God. And As you have made as you have made a decision to change I told you kwamba si hatujatoka from the environment where you have been you will always find things that will want you to go back to where you were They will always be there They will always be reason and some of them ni kidogo sana kidogo sana but you have to ensure that you said you are going right and right is the way 
Praise God. Because when you go back, chances are you might never come out of that. Bwana sifiwe. When you go back to where you are, chances are you will never come back. You will never come out of it. Samson unajua alikuwa anafanyanga mchezo. Samson used to to joke around. There were several women before Delilah, si ndio? He had even married somebody. But there were several women before Delilah and even during the time of Delilah, he constantly ensured that he never told her his secret. But the day he surrendered, there was no way to bring him back from where he, wa- he was. Mpaka his only desire was death. His only desire, alikuwa anasema, yani alikuwa ameamua sasa anataka kufa. He knew what he wanted. He now decided I'd rather die instead of being humiliated this way. Instead of, you know, instead of a mighty man has become sasa huku chini watoto wanamfanyia mchezo. Mtu hakuwa anaguzu. Mtu hakuwa who had given a whole country stress peke yake. He was the only he was the only person nafikiri hapo kwa Biblia who used to fight alone. He will go to war alone. Alone and fight properly in a very in a very small way anatupa tu mfupa ya jo na watu wanakufa so when he went to that level it was it was not possible for him to come back to who he used to be hakuwa na macho so even if the lord had strengthened him before hiyo siku ya kufa he will not have gone back to one haoni If Samson was, was the, the original Samson before Delilah but he was not able to see he had all the strength but he was not able to see will he have become mighty he will not have become mighty you are not seeing so even your, the enemies do not even st- struggle with you wata kuchapa chapa tu makofi because you will not see who's fighting you who's beating you hata ukiwa na ukiwa na ukiwa na nguvu hata wakati unataka kupigana you are not even seeing the people you are fighting so you don't even know where you are supposed to throw the arrow towards so it is not possible most of the time it becomes very difficult to return once you have gone back to where you were so my prayer is to you that you ensure and how do you ensure everything that is consistently done be consistent everything that is consistently done remains bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe. Mwaka huu wengine wamesema mwaka huu nataka kuomba sana. If if you are not you are not able to pray consistently. Ukiacha siku moja, it becomes very easy for you to leave the second day. Ukiacha hiyo siku ya pili, it becomes very easy for you to leave the third day. You will not even be able to start. By the time you have reached four days, you do not even remember that you are supposed to pray. It, it inakupotele hata ikui tena desire that I, I I want to pray so much I want to ensure that I pray this year Munanielewa If you start praying today you pray tomorrow wa hii wiki moja unasikia unajua after you have reached a state of naona siku hizi sana ni na connect vizuri I can really pray then it comes a period of going down And this period of going down is when you have to make choices every choices you have to force yourself to submit to pray. So when you stop one day second day you will you it's akwa raisi. Third day by day four, you do not even remember that you are supposed to be praying. After one month ndio utaka una realize yenyewe I have not been praying. But again starting from at that one month also becomes very difficult and most probably you will never go back to that culture so develop jikaze kwa consistent even when it is impossible do it do it work on it there was a time i was i was work, I, i decided to work out wakati fulani aki kulikuwa na masiku wewe mimi mwenyewe niko na masababu aki i have been working from morning up to Nimetoka kazini saa kumi na moja, nimefika, nimengangana kupika. And yani mpaka honestly, hata hiyo mazoezi sinaona nimechoka siwezi ifanye. That is the way I, I I I will think. Even the exercise itself has seen that I am tired. I cannot do the exercise today. But somebody told me, always show up. 
always show up. Show up. If you are praying, watanga kuambia anywhere. Let me give you a secret. Stop praying at mahali tu, yani at popote nikiwa kwa gari nitaomba, eh nikiwa kwa cho nitaomba. Hapana. Designate a place. Designate a place. Kama uko na nafasi, tengeneza mahali yenye inajulikana ni mahali yako, mahali ya maombi. So at that time when you show up in that place so utakaa hapo unajiuliza ukweli unafanya nini hapa hapa ninafaa kuomba you will find you have started praying show up and i will show up and i will say tafanya inaitwaje hizi jumping jacks kumi. and at least nitakuwa nimeweka si signature kwamba nimefanya kitu when you start the 10 you get the motivation to do the 20 you get the motivation to do the next thing Before you know it you have done 30 minutes of workout and it is done. Bwana asifiwe. So wakati ina, ina, inashindikana make sure you show up. And I, I, I did that was just for my physical exercise but I think ilinisaidia kwa kazi zingine nimekuwa nikifanya. Kwa mambo mengine pia nilikuwa ninasongeza. I even decide so nikajua hii uzembe inakuanga. So immediately I get into the house I wear my exercise gear. So sasa zile unajiuliza sasa umevaa ulikuwa unafaa kufanyia mazoezi lakini hujafanya. Sasa unatoa kwa nini na hujafanya and you will do. Praise God. So there is nothing that is easy. There is nothing that just comes. Tunaelewana. You have to work on it. You have to make a decision and make sure you show up to do what you're supposed to do every day bwana sifiwe so the old self the old nature if we vile nilikuwa na equate with a dress with with dressing nguo so kama ni nguo ya kitambo umewacha huko itaingia kwa mwili yako kama hujaivalisha kama hujairuhusu as if you have not put it on will it be on you it is you to make a decision hiyo nguo imeraruka hauvai unavaa hiyo nguo yenye iko sawa sawa Praise the Lord. And as we are moving the Lord is saying that that Ephesians chapter 4 is something you have to make a decision every day to live. Make a decision every day to do. Make a decision every day to follow up. Find out what is it that you want in your life. How is it supposed to be? inafanywa namna gani unataka kufanya biashara ni nini inatakikana ufanye unataka kuwa una, you, you, you want to get married what is it that you need to know and how is it supposed to be at least in the morning we knew impatient is one enemy of marriage si ndio especially for for the singles impatient impatience especially for the for the singles unaona umeangoja Mungu sana Eh? Unaona umeongoja Mungu sana. Unaona umetegemea Mungu akubariki sana, hajakubariki, unaanza biashara ya magendo, unaanza ukahaba, unaanza kuuza madawa ya kulevia. And when you have started you, you realize you cannot go back and what you are supposed to receive has now come. Praise God. So my prayer to you this morning is that you be able to put away the old self, to put away the old ways. We put away the old talk, the old the old speeches, the old declarations and put on the new declarations. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we'll see the difference in our life. Welcome to Gospel Embassy Chapel and be spiritually nourished by Pastor Peter Murwabi. Skiriza, shetani yupo na lazima tumchulishe kwamba sisi pia tumemfahamu Mungu. You can also watch the Pastor and Uplifting Sermons live on YouTube channel every Saturday. From now going forward, nobody in this church is dying before the time in Jesus name. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscription button on the right. For all prayer requests and information, call the number on the screen. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4 My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words but with the demonstration of the spirit's power Gospel Embassy Network TV The place to feed on heavenly bread